Okay guys, we are back on this one to move all that mulch back into the backyard here. I gotta finish spading some beds, break some other stuff down, but we're gonna mulch everything first, then flagstone's gonna go on top of the mulch. Yeah. Okay, God. Jared's cleaning up. There ain't much to see, so I'm going to put my headphones on and get you guys updates as we go because it's kind of like kind of tightly compact. I'm going to blow all these leaves back to there. We only mulch to the back of these laurels, all to the right to the back of here. All this is getting mulched this year. Before, we only didn't even mulch this, but we're mulching everything this year now. So, let me go ahead and get that blown out.
Oh, okay. Like, just at least the, where the flocks are. Okay. So this is what we got so far. My phone's gonna die. I'm gonna go charge it and plug it in real quick. But, so as you can see, it started raining. <laughs> so we are done this one. Let me show you real quick. Not done, obviously. We're not gonna go get more mulch. We probably honestly won't be back here until Monday afternoon. We can't work Saturdays here and we're supposed to get four inches of rain anyway. So, but this is now, this I'm walking through because we're putting a flagstone here. It looks so much better before it started pouring down rain. But we planted the flocks here this all the way here we got all this mulched we'll come back probably monday and mulch the rest around here and then have to finish this at the end of next week yeah you guys see i think probably bb barns are offers it garden beds like yeah, that yeah okay so we talked about this that you could probably offer garden beds and fill them up like this and Probably they probably even come back and plant the plants. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. See, all your clients do not always know that you can do this stuff. You need to make sure that you tell your clients that you can handle everything and tell them multiple times, even if you think you already told them. Yeah. Oh, I thought the sun was going to go away, Rach. Okay, we're going to get off and start mowing. Look how green that grass is. Look, there's clover in it and dandelions. We'll take care of that in another couple weeks, though. But let's get mowing. I want to walk all the way down here, but I wanted to show you guys how big this hill is. And I had to go by kind of Rachel's angle. I told her pick the angle. So this isn't the worst angle, but it's not the best angle. The worst angle would be straight up and down on this hill. I am pretty far down here. So that's. So there you go, there's the Ferris all the way up there. This hill is steep, we'll walk you guys up it. So, not bad for them hydros, 1,200 hours I'm about to hit. And this thing mows hills like a champ. Now, I don't know about me, it's uh, my knees hurt, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? This is mountain mowing. You know, not bad. I'm only doing one pass on this today. Seat. 
So we are on the last one, probably for the week, unless for some odd reason it does not rain tomorrow. But they're calling for a 100% chance. I'll show you an after of this. We're just gonna get stuff done so we can get done. Cause it is six o'clock. Okay, we're wrapping this one up and we are done for the day. End of our day. Actually, probably the end of our week. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be rained out Friday and Saturday. Which stinks. And I know the boss is itching to get inside and take a shower because of maybe poison ivy. Well, yeah, I went, I, I saw like one little thing like sticking out of the siding of the house, you guys. And I pulled and like it pulled. <laughs> like how long do you think it was? Like five, six Oh yeah, long, it right? was long. I said, I hope that's not poison ivy. I said, so. I hope not either, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go and wash with cold water just in case because... I am highly allergic to poison ivy. Yeah, and we don't want the boss to get bubbles all over us. No, so. that would really stink for Easter weekend. That would really stink because it's my birthday too. Oh, and hopefully you guys had a good Easter. If you see this before yeah. then, hopefully you have a good Easter. Yeah, but I think that you're probably going to see it after, after though, yeah, right? More than so likely. So hopefully you guys had a nice Easter and yeah. I will thank you in advance for all the birthday wishes <laughs> because... I'm sure that you guys are awesome. So so until next video, guys, we will see you then. We do appreciate you watching. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have, Have a good, good night. night.